I'm Janine Blaylock. I'm with Lake City Greenways, and we're here at one end of the Olympic Hills Greenway on 25th Avenue Northeast and Northeast 125th. And we're looking at a connection from here to what I call the Pinehurst Zigzag. It's a route that goes through the Pinehurst and Victory Heights neighborhoods and gets you safely and calmly to the Northgate area. There are all sorts of places up there that you want to get to. Northgate Community Center, Northgate Library, the Mall, Thornton Place, Group Health and other medical facilities. And finally, the light rail station will be there and the Northgate Pedestrian and Bicycle Bridge of the future that will take you across to North Seattle College. So this is a really great route for people in Lake City and Northgate to use to get back and forth. This is Bob Edmiston, user experience researcher for Seattle Neighborhood Greenways. We're going to explain the highlights of the Pinehurst zigzag by traveling the route from north to south. Your view will be from the perspective of the handlebars of Janine's bicycle. We leave the Olympic Hills Greenway, heading south along 25th Avenue Northeast by crossing Northeast 125th Street at the existing signalized intersection. From there, 25th Avenue Northeast is already a pleasant wooded route with little traffic and good pavement conditions. It continues this way southward until Northeast 120th Street, where the route turns east and goes up a short one block long grade before continuing south on 24th Avenue Northeast. Twenty Fourth Avenue Northeast is a flat, quiet residential street that feels very comfortable for biking or walking. The route zigs at Northeast 117th Street, where there's a very short hill segment for the length of one house lot before continuing south on Twenty Fourth Avenue Northeast, where the roadway is again flat. At Northeast 115th Street. The route turns west and continues all the way to 8th Avenue Northeast on a residential street that already has some existing traffic calming in the, for in the form of chicanes, traffic circles, and corner bulbs. Northeast 115th Street crosses three arterial streets, including connecting with the protected bicycle lanes on Pinehurst Way Northeast. The first is 15th Avenue Northeast. This crossing has an existing pedestrian light, but the light is not available to people riding bikes yet. The crossing of Pinehurst Way Northeast is very wide and would benefit from crossing improvements. Roosevelt Way Northeast at this crossing has little traffic, so this crossing could be easily improved. The section of Northeast 115th Street between Roosevelt Way Northeast and 8th Avenue Northeast has a mild grade, good pavement conditions, and is pleasant to bike on. At 8th Avenue Northeast, the route turns south toward the Northgate Business District. The pavement is wide, in good condition, and there are sidewalks on both sides of the street, which continue to Northgate Way. Crossing Northgate Way on foot or on bike is easy because of the existing pedestrian signal and full diverter. People and bikes simply use the crosswalk to cross a busy street. South of North Gateway, the road dips down and then climbs steadily to Northeast 103rd Street, where it turns east to connect to the Thornton Creek Trail. Northeast 103rd Street transitions from residential to urban at 5th Avenue Northeast, where there is an existing signal light and crosswalks. The Thornton Creek Trail is flat and takes people away from the heavily trafficked streets and connects the residential area to the Northgate Transit Center safely, directly, and pleasantly. There is no obvious bike or pedestrian friendly connection from the Northgate Transit Center to the future Northgate Light Rail Station. The flattest, lowest traffic connection includes using a one block long section of boulevard on 3rd Avenue Northeast and then cutting through the parking lot of the Pima Medical Institute and the Hampton Inn and Suites.
From a network perspective, this route builds our network by connecting an existing greenway to transit jobs, education, and community. It would improve walkability and bikeability by improving three uncomfortable arterial crossings while leveraging existing city investments in residential traffic calming and three signalized arterial crossings. While there are four sections where the grade feels steep, three of these sections are very short and of a manageable grade for family and cargo bikers. With the exception of a few short grades, the overall route is the mildest possible route if one is to avoid the noise, pollution, and stress of biking or walking on Lake City Way. This is a great way to get from Lake City to the Northgate area, including our future light rail station and the Northgate pedestrian and bicycle bridge that will connect us to North Seattle College. Of course, there's Northgate Mall. We passed the Watershed Pub, Thornton Place. We passed Group Health and other medical facilities. So this is a really great area to be able to get to on bike. 